One of the most powerful features of any 3D modeling package is the ability to build and design a part, assign a material with associated densities and things like that, and then get that information back. I can weigh it, I can find the center of mass, I can find all these properties about something that would be extremely difficult without a piece of software. Now, right now, I only have a rectangular block, so that's really probably not that hard to calculate some of these values for a rectangular block, but if you had a very intricate design, figuring out the center of mass might be really difficult, or figuring out how much something exactly weighs would be extremely difficult. But in this example here, I've just got this basic rectangular block, so we could can calculate this if we really wanted to. But I've already assigned a material. So here's my material up here on the upper left-hand corner in the Design Explorer. If you want to change the material, you can select from the library, select a different material right in here, apply it. But in this case, let's just leave it as this phosphor bronze material. Okay, and come over here to inspect. If we click on the toolbar at the top, the ribbon's gonna change, and I can click over here and say physical properties. Okay, so it has a few different options at the top. So my accuracy, I can change from medium, low, high, very high. Uh, I can change my notation from standard notation to scientific if you'd like to. I can change my precision. And then once you've got those things set up, I can click on calculate and it's gonna tell me exactly the information that I put in ahead of time. So I'm saying, hey, I've already selected the material as phosphor bronze. The density that it's being pulled from the library is this 8,800 kilograms per meter cubed, right? The volume, the mass, surface area, this is all being calculated based upon the size of the block, right? The center of mass is showing me exactly where that is. The mass moments of inertia, all this data is coming in right here. And if I keep going down here, I get all this other information here. So, and then it gives you a little summary too, right? There's one part, there's six faces, there's 12 uh, edges, eight vertices, and one unique part, right? So that's where it is. Now, if you were to go back and change this material, for instance, come over here and say, hey, you know, I don't want phosphor bronze. I'm gonna select, uh, let's just do something like aluminum. So open up the aluminum, 661, apply that. Now the material is that, come back to physical properties, calculate it again, notice the material does change, and all that other information changes as well. So it's a real quick and easy way to get that information back out. And it allows you to really play with the design by figuring out exactly how much it's gonna weigh or what the surface area is. You know, I use this a lot when I do things like painting, for instance. I say, hey, how many, how many, what's the surface area of my part? So I have 192 square inches of material that I need to paint. That's gonna figure how much the paint's gonna, uh, paint's gonna be used, for instance. And it's gonna help, help me get an accurate measurement of what the cost might be. Same thing with like the mass, if I'm gonna maybe send it out for plating. How much does this weigh? How many pieces of this material are gonna be racked on a plating rack, for instance? That's how they calculate and figure out those values a lot of the time. And if I can give that information to a vendor, it's gonna save us a lot of time and effort.